put the bobblehead back. You want it or no? Oh, that's cool. The meal there. Well, that's for yourself? Huh? For yourself? Yeah, shipping. Ships and material. What do you sell your video games for? Do you sell it on uh... online? I, I rarely will put something on whatnot like that. Are you, you getting names on video games? Some. Some I can sell it. Some. It's crazy. Like some I can send, some I, I can't. Know. I'm gonna say I need to focus on getting on other stuff, man. Yeah, me too. I try to. Like I said, I just I neglected Amazon for so long. Yeah, I can get lost in the store for hours. Yeah. So you know it's eleven fifty-three. Just keep it. I'm trying to slowly make my way up front. No, you're good, man. I just know you. I just want you. Uh, I know you see it in your car though. So still in your grab lunch. Yeah. We're about a half an hour from Lucky Cow. Yeah, much time you want, man. I, I got nothing to do with that. I'm not even going to hold the list. That's what I'm going to do. Play my cat. Pardon me. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Like, I may come back here this week. Excuse me, sir. For real. This cheaper than online. That'd be a nice skill to have though. Have yeah. another one. My girl, she got one. See, I, I prefer the one that has a cord coming off because I put bigger items on it. 
I'm talking for like oh. first class. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I got the bigger one. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is, this would be a nice pickup. This is blue for 20 bucks. I would have snagged that, but yeah, it was 40 bucks, so it's not worth it. Front for I look at something else. <laughs> no, because like I'm on a time crunch too, and technically I'm not supposed to be spending as much money. <laughs> Just, it worked? Oh man, we just printed those this morning too. Oh, good. Just got finished being dry. So that was my first time ever coming to red, white, and blue. We grabbed some good items, but we're gonna review everything when we get to the house. Because of the magic of camera, I'm home now. So what's going on guys? We spent a total of $46. Let's see exactly what we grabbed. Now this first item, I wish I could send this to Amazon. I will try to request approval, but I actually need my laptop because I need to see if they're gonna make me send in documents. Sometimes they tell you to go on the laptop to see if you can get approval versus just your phone. So I'm gonna see if I can get approved on my laptop first. And if I can, I can sell this bad boy for $55.27 on Amazon. My profit will be $37.52. That's a, that's a steep on the fees, right, Amazon? But uh, it, it's expected when you're dealing with Amazon, especially FBA. But the beauty about FBA, I can actually send the stuff into Amazon and don't have to have the inventory in my house. But if I have to put this bad boy on eBay, I'll probably only get like around 30 something dollars for it, which brings my profit all the way down from 37 to like 20, because you don't get the same prices on eBay that you do Amazon, from my experience at least. The next item that we found is going to be the secret agent, man. <laughs> this uh, secret agent game. I don't know if it's a game or clue or puzzle. I don't know. But whatever it is, this secret agent is selling for $48.22 and the profit is $32.21. 
after the fees and I can send this in. The only thing is this has a 3 million rank in books, which means it may not sell for like four months. Normally I try to find items that has a 2 million rank and under, it probably will sell in like two months or so, but 3 million rank isn't terribly bad, especially in books because there's over 400 million books out there in the world, probably more, who knows? But uh, that, 32, that $32 profit, will definitely put me in profit after the other little thing sells too. So if I sell them both on Amazon, that will make me like $60, which would put me in $20 in profit for the day. The next item we did take a chance on, I can send this into Amazon, but I'm not exactly sure. I might just put it on eBay because it does have a little bit of uh, damage right there. As you can see, this sleeve got a little worn. And I don't know if I did that or not, but the sleeve did get damaged. And then the box, I know I didn't do this, is damaged right here in the corner, but it is sealed, you know? So I may just put it on eBay because I don't want them problems with Amazon. You gotta be very particular when it comes to Amazon. But on Amazon, it's selling for $54.98. So hopefully I can get like around 40 on eBay. I'll take 40 all day. I may have my starting price at 50 and then have my best offers on and just see exactly what we can get. Because if everything else sells, I'll already be in profit. But my guesstimation, if I happen to sell this for around 40 to 50 bucks, I'm going to profit, we're going to say like around $30, 28 to $34, $5 on eBay. Next is this Disney Look and Find four book collection. I paid like $3 for this thing. I mean, I know I paid $46 for everything total, but I'm pretty sure I only paid like $3. I think it was like $2.99 for this three book set. And I can send it into Amazon and it has a rank of 284,000, which means as soon as it gets to the warehouse, this probably is gonna sell within a few days. Maybe the day it gets to the warehouse, probably not, but within a week, this should sell as soon as it gets to the warehouse. But my profit margin is $12.85 and that's what this book's selling for $27.99. Not that much profit, but I saw the rank and was like, you know what, I'll take that little nice little $10, $12 profit all day because anytime I, see a rank under like 400,000, that's great in my eyes. Next is gonna be this, who wants to be a millionaire game sealed. This says I paid $7.99 for, but we know the color of the day was blue and I think it was what, what 40% off, 20% off, 30%, I don't know. But I know we paid $46 for everything total, so not bad. And this is selling for $24, $25, $25, $18 plus shipping, 18 plus shipping, which equals around $25. So $25 all day on eBay, maybe ends up like a $14 profit or so when it's all said and done. Um, not too, too, too bad. Not great, but it's not bad. The only reason I bought it was sealed. And I actually think I could send this into Amazon, but I am not sure. Actually, let me check if I can send this into Amazon. I just checked and I wish I could send this into Amazon. $67 is what this bad boy is selling for on Amazon, man. And I didn't try to request approval because I already know I would have had to go to the computer to try to do it, especially with items like this. But um, I'm gonna try to see if I can get approved on Amazon and I probably won't on this item. I probably won't, but if I can, I might make a whole separate video about it, but I probably won't. <laughs> um, anyways, so this is, will probably go on eBay and I'll probably only get that $25 sale, which may equates to probably like a $17 profit. I am gonna charge them shipping. I may only put like $18 and then charge them shipping just to get some money back to help eat into what I paid for all these items together. Cause I'm trying to look at it as a group. Yeah, I probably paid like $5 for this bad boy, but if I lock everything up together, I paid $46 for everything. And then there's an item that I don't even have that's probably in the car that I need to talk about. This is the main thing that I got, and it was the sand art thing. I don't know if you saw that box, sand art, it said sand art on it. I think I could send it to Amazon, but I don't have the box on me to scan. And I wanna say, man, that was the very first item that I grabbed in the store, and I could send it to Amazon for like 40 something bucks. It's selling for like $30 on eBay. So that means I'm pretty sure on Amazon, it will sell for like $49, $53, $55 or something like that. So even though I can't like physically show you that item, I mean, this is what it was. Hopefully you saw it in the video, but um, yeah, hopefully I'll make at least $25 off that item, at least, at least. And that will definitely put me in a profit. And did I calculate all that and add that up to see what my potential profit would be? No, I didn't. I'm not going to lie. I didn't. But if I had to do a rough estimate, if everything sells, 
I should make probably like around a 250, maybe somewhere around there. Somebody did quick math for me. I'm not sure, but uh, we're going to say around $250 potential profit. And I always have to say potential. Some of the stuff's going to sell. One or two may not ever sell. I mean, it is what it is, man. Once you do this for a while, you kind of understand what's going to happen. But, uh, it's all good. And then that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for joining me, man. It is like five o'clock in the morning. Your boy is tired. I can't even lie. I got up, couldn't go back to sleep. So I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and knock this video out and get it out the way. But anyway, that's it for this video, guys. Make sure that you bless somebody today because I promise you, I'm going to bless somebody tomorrow. May not be the, yeah, today, tomorrow. I'm going to bless somebody the day after I wake up again because I'm going to try to take a quick nap <laughs> before I have to go. But anyways, make sure that you bless somebody today. I'm going to bless somebody tomorrow. At this point in time, your boy Tay, I'm out.